Hi guys, Ava here. Today I'm going to show you a clutch. So smash the like button, make sure bells and subscribe. So I'm going to show you the parts of the clutch first. So there's the flywheel, the clutch plate, and the clutch plate goes and sit there inside there and then a clutch cover and the diaphragm spring in a clutch cover so as I just showed you the clutch plate goes in like that and when you push uh, when you don't push the clutch the material that this the ring around it is made of would go against the flywheel and that's how, when you don't push the clutch, that's how it doesn't disengage. Because of friction, it would push against the flywheel, so they both spin at the same time. And by the way, that would all be happening inside of that. Because when you push the, when you don't push the clutch, um, the, in, the diaphragm spring, the other side of it would be in. So it's pushing against the clutch plate, making the clutch plate go against the flywheel, which is how all of it spins. When you push the clutch, though, um, once I find it, so when you push the clutch, that you when you push the clutch, this little one piece. Uh, let me find it. Okay, I guess I don't have it, but there's a clutch fork and another piece that would go against the, uh, by the way, that, that's a diaphragm spring. Anyway, that one piece would go against the diaphragm spring and making the diaphragm spring go, since this is p pushing inward, the ring would be pushing outward. So, the, the um, spring over here would not be pressing against the clutch anymore. So therefore, when you push the clutch, it would make the edges of the diaphragm spring go out, pulling this spring out releasing the tension on the the clutch plate so it's not touching the flywheel so it spins and so your wheels don't move by the way this is a standard one anyway so put it this way if you push the clutch it pulls everything back so the plate doesn't touch the flywheel but if you don't push the clutch, then everything, because it's a spring, it push everything forward onto the flywheel, so it all spins. When it's not, it's just a flywheel spinning. Nothing else is spinning. So it won't transfer power to the transmission when the clutch is not engaged, which is when the ring is pushed out. And obviously, when you're not pushing the clutch... It'd push everything against the flywheel, so you'd have power going to the transmission, and therefore, your car would move. And that is all happening inside that. Or, I don't think I have a picture of it. Or that. There's two different videos. So it would ha be happening inside of that thing, but yeah. Uh, so your some cars are hydraulic, some cars are the sp the uh, string for clutch itself. So that's how a clutch works. As you can see, force would go against there and against the flywheel. So that's how a clutch works. Uh, smash that like button, make sure bones and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.